Be patient is the word. Everybody's entitled to their opinion. Councillor Hickley. Thank you, Mr Chair. He's um, I, I, I'm really concerned about some of these statements because as far as I'm aware, the Tongariro Street or the Tongariro Management Plan or Tongariro Domain is the planning document for the future of that domain and the way it moves forward. I appreciate that there's eye level uh, documents like the structure plan and the district plan, but don't downgrade the actual Tongariro management plan process, please. It's this very is important. Not doing this. Well, that's my opinion. Well, I, I'll, I'll sum it up. That's not downgrading the Tongariro domain. As Mr Carroll has said, and it would appear that some of you are not listening, the structure plan is done. Anything that the structure plan reflects that might have a bearing on the Tongariro management plan must be considered. <coughs> now, it mightn't change the Tongariro demand management plan, but if they are going to consider those things that fall out of the structure plan to change that plan, then that whole process has got to go through to do that. Yes, All right? Thank you. So let's get on with it. Page 18. Is there any changes or any comments on page 18, please? I just thought I'd make the comment, Mr Chairman, that that's me in the little yellow Corolla. Is that a joke or is that authentic? Otherwise, and we, we will actually put your face above it, if actually you mean. <laughs> Councillor Bernard? I have just one addition, if I may. Um, the last paragraph, um, the last line where we talk about consolidation, intensification, walkability and vitality. I wonder whether after the walkability we can include the word cyclability. <laughs> Cyclic? <laughs> Cyclability? <laughs> <or> cyclic <laughs> whatever, you know what I mean. Cycle friendly. Is there a word? Cyclability or whatever. <laughs> there is. It's a new word. Cyclic. <laughs> How do you spell that, Councillor? Oh, I'm German. <laughs> Sounds we'll take good it in anyway, the German smiley. spelling. <laughs> All right. It's good, Smiley. Just put it in. <laughs> okay. Right, page 19. Yeah, if you had to go up this one. Isn't that Robert Street, uh, Councillor McKeel? Is that something wrong with that street, isn't it? Yeah, Mr Chairman, I think, this, I think this is a, a map that we're going to have to come back to perhaps after we've gone through the text because there are a number of things in this plan um, that I don't believe we have resolved, um, nor have we even discussed. Um, but that doesn't mean to say that um, it's correct. Um, so one of them, for example, is I can't understand why the top key, the top green, dark green box, which is event-focused, dedicated community event space, why doesn't this include the whole of Riverside Park, of which the amphitheatre is a part? Because that currently, that is all part of the Tongaro North Domain. It just happens to have a marketing term, Riverside Park, and the amphitheatre, or well, the Unison Amphitheatre, to be correct. Uh, and also, I don't know who's, who has determined all the green cross-hatching the second to bottom box, and also we, I thought, had a long discussion, even though it's only covered by one sentence in the minutes, a long discussion on the short to medium term uh, location of Lake Terrace between Ruapehu Street and Tongariro Street. It would not go in that bend, which is reflected right throughout this document. But uh, uh, perhaps we need to go. Perhaps we need to go through the text, and then we can come back each time to the box. Also, for example, the Taupo Boat Harbour, I would have thought would be written right up the river. The landing reserve would be marked, and I think that the Taupo Boat Harbour is not correctly designated in the light blue. Nor is the open space appropriate on the Nukahau entirely appropriate on the Nukahau Boat Reserve Management Plan. I just think there's some real um, incorrect classifications. Well, now, maybe because it's been drawn from somewhere else and it hasn't been updated, in which case it needs to be updated to meet 
the policy as it's stated in this plan? Well, it certainly has to meet the policy stated mm. in the plan. It's the drawing we've always had with the alterations that we've done so far <coughs> into what we thought were reflecting the decision. So you'll see Tamamudi Street has got extensions gone and, 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 um, and, and blue to the north of the Great Lakes Centre. So if there are some mm. more, um, as long as they are already in the decisions and therefore we haven't reflected them properly, that's one thing. Mm -hmm. If you want to change more things from that, we need to discuss those as well. For example, the Robert Street, I don't recall any discussion mm -hmm. on, on the Robert Street going on around and down and around there So because we've got nothing in the decision on that. Mm -hmm. So... Um, well, with all due respect, Mr Chairman, we did have a discussion. I don't remember who was present because at times people weren't able to be here. But we certainly had a discussion about the fact that the last thing we wanted was um, too many of the cyclists in the cyclothon tipping off before they get to um, Tongariro Street. And as I understood, that that was going to be a, um, a stage development of what is not now called a piazza, um, and we made no decisions as to where the road would go. So this was proposed in the draft, I agree. Um, the downgraded part of Tongariro Street between Tuwharitoa Street and the lakefront I find unusual as well. I'd be interested to hear what my fellow colleagues have to say That's about okay. that. Yeah, I, I just wonder... Um, do we actually see it feasible for the red dot on Robert Street to be achieved where it actually is? I thought it was more on the reserve sort of focus than right where the Pizza Hut is for sake of argument. Mm. So do we see that actually being feasible to do that where the red dot is? C certainly part of the structure plan from word go that there would be a a, shelter, a more sheltered or withdrawal component to the public areas around there um, and that was how it could see to be achieved and the reason it's where it is was to keep that relatively direct contact yeah. with the laneways mm -hmm. as opposed to being on any other lot. Now, in years to come, it might move a little bit but for the purposes of the structure plan because remember this plan is only for the purposes of this document it's not a domain management plan drawing it isn't no, so, right. so it will be showing things in slightly different lights than you might in another document see it shown my, my only concern is you know, did, I, I say it again do we think that is really feasible to be at because we're going to either have to purchase Pizza Hut or do an exchange or do something to, to achieve that. Yes. Or, or maybe yes. acquire an easement through there and it stays private. But there are options. Yeah, well, that, I, I, I agree with that, but that's not showing. That's only, that, that would only give us a laneway type facility, not a piazza type facility. And that's, that's only my concern. Thank you, yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I actually think that it would be more more sensible, more productive, if we're to come back to this later after we've gone through the rest of the material that's there, because I think a lot of it then will be clarified by that this you know ongoing discussion and more okay, useful then to you, come back. Because if the wording doesn't match the picture, no. you're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Councillor Downer. Well, yeah, I was just saying there was discussion on that. goes in between Pizza Hut and Kentucky Fried um, that does line up with that that could have been put into a laneway and um, I know that was talked about no, no, no. No. Thank you Chair um, just in relation to the comment that um, Mr Gibbs made um, and this was in relation to uh, uh, the, the uh, suggestions or, or plans that related to other um, documents um, may be uh, slightly varied to, to those in this, but uh, go back to page 17 and we said that we wanted to try and keep um, things consistent. Well, it would seem to me that we were departing from uh, being consistent if we don't at least 
keep um, suggestions made here so that they align with the other plans. What, all, all I meant by that is that every document will have language and drawings and plans in them that reflect the detail of what those documents are actually dealing with. And an example would be the domain management plan may show what's vested recreation reserve and what's vested local purpose reserve, for example. What this plan is doing is looking at more at how the land is actually used. Now, an example would be the retail expansion. What this plan is suggesting is that there is a more logical part of the town centre at that southern end to have retail expansion into than perhaps at the northern end. But it doesn't mean the district plan zoning will necessarily change because it already allows that to happen. Um, and it's the same with the event space perhaps being identified as slightly different to maybe the Riverside Park space. And, but that wouldn't necessarily be reflected in the same way in the domain management plan. So that's why I'm saying it's not inconsistent, but it is, it is showing a different... It's reflecting a different document, that's all. It's sort of just slightly sticky. Councillor McKeown. Yeah, Mr Chairman, uh, if you go to your original draft um, structure plan, and that's the page before, the map on the page before the Section 7 bulk infrastructure... <coughs> to what page? It's the page before Section 7 bulk infrastructure. It's page, should be page 117, but it's not marked as such. 117 of the original. Um, to be fair to the staff, I think we glossed over this pretty lightly and we left a lot to you to do because usually I've got all sorts of writing on my plans if it's going to be amended and all I've got written at the top of that page is amend. And with all due respect, I totally agree with Councillor F. Hagen that we, go, we come back to this because I think going through the text will help us help you to amend if you haven't already done so. Well, that's what we're going to do. Thank you. Page 20. Yeah, I have another one. Uh, the last paragraph on, on the first column where we talk about the airport, we say it is proposed to zone additional industrial land just to the north. Um, but in fact, we are also going to zone a little bit of land to the south. And I wonder whether perhaps a better um, way of describing it is it is proposed to zone additional industrial land in brackets C map on page 23. Because otherwise, if you if you don't show the ETA, some people may uh, may think that you'll actually go beyond the ETA and that you're not going south. Yes. Okay. That's a simple solution. Yes. Yep. Any other comments on 20? No. Nope. Page 21. We're into the maps now, Councillor McKelly. Um. Now this is where these maps were prepared in advance of our deliberations and decisions, correct? And they come from the draft. These have been subsequently amended. So you'll see the solid energy sites, for example, on Aratiatia Road have been included. Yes. Yes. Now, that's the, that's what I'd like to raise, Mr Chairman, and it comes up a bit further on um, where it wouldn't have been requested of the um, consultants perhaps to look at land that hadn't been proposed to be zoned industrial as to whether it was sensitive or not. But we'll come to that in a, in a minute. But I, I just wanted to make sure that that's included. So that, that in, enlarged yellow area expanded to the northeast is the new proposed industrial zoning. Correct? Yes. Right. Thank you. You want to see the changes? You go to your your original draft mm -hmm. on page. Um, it's around that's six point two anyway. Yeah, I just raised the mystery because I don't think everybody's got the original draft. Okay, right. Up, next page. There's not a lot of changes. There's a little tweaking to fix up the airport boundaries, and I think that was the only other one. There, there was one other change on map on page twenty two. The map which shows the area between yeah. Boardlands and right. Centennial. Oh, sorry, and um, State Highway Five. Mm. You'll see the council land at the State Highway 5 end, 